So here's the thing. Last week, I thought I lost my Sony WF-1000XM3 active noise canceling wireless earbuds. When I got these in August, I loved it. Sound quality is great. Noise canceling is great. It was comfortable enough and the app was very robust and I loved the interface. But the past couple of weeks, I've been hearing a lot of good things about the Apple AirPods Pro. So I figured, as a replacement, let me try out the AirPods Pro a little bit, see how it fares with my experience with the Sony, and then decide and give you guys my uh, totally unbiased, non-professional review of both of these wonderful active noise canceling wireless earbuds. It turns out, I didn't lose my Sony's, I just misplaced them, found them a couple of days later. But on the good side, I was able to really put them through their paces and see which one is better for me. So here's my very quick unbiased review of both these amazing pieces of tech. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm not a technical person at all. I'm not an audiophile. I'm just really, really into researching the stuff that I spend money on. I have a couple of points to go through, see who's the winner, but in the end, I'll decide whether keeping the AirPods or switching back to the Sony's. So, here we go. Point number one, price. The Sony's are $229. Apple AirPods Pro, $249. So clearly, Sony's are the winner. So not only in price, Sony comes with a total of seven ear tips. So that's good because as we will discuss later, the seal in your ear is very important for the noise canceling. The AirPods Pro only has a total of three. However, if one of those three fits you perfectly, like you, but the Sony's just give you a couple of more chances on finding which is the perfect fit. Point number two, sound quality. Even to the untrained ear, I'm gonna have to go with the Sony's again. The bass is a little bit more punchy. The sound is a little bit more round. When listening to podcasts, the voice is slightly clearer than what I experienced with the Apple AirPods. With that, I'm gonna give the Sony a slight win. Caveat though, I'm not an audio producer, I'm not a big audiophile. I'm a day-to-day -day user of these. If you want even more in-depth review about the audio quality, there are plenty of other reviewers out there that will give you much more complete detail on both. Point number three, noise canceling. So the reason why both of these are much more expensive than other wireless earbuds is they provide active noise canceling. Simply put, the earbuds have external microphones that will cancel what it hears on the environment so that you have uh, lesser noise coming into your ears, more muffled or just cleaner coming in to what you are listening to. The thing with noise canceling though is that the seal in your ear is very crucial into the amount of noise canceling that happens. Because Sony has this many tips, an additional six tips for you to choose from, you have more chances to have that perfect seal. Apple AirPods, however, just have the ones in your earbuds plus an additional two. Point number four, features. Clearly the Sony's will have more features. Their app is much more robust. You have more EQ presets. I choose the bright or excited presets because I listen to a lot of podcasts and those two seem to be the best ones for voice. You also have more control on how much or how little noise canceling you'll have so that you can have more of the environment or less of the environment coming through your ears despite the noise canceling feature on. And they give you a lot more tools on how to customize your listening experience. However, not a lot of people really do go into the apps and tinker a lot in terms of the listening experience. So some people might actually prefer the simple interface of the Apple AirPods because all you have to do is swipe down your control panel, hold the volume section, and then you have just a couple of options in which you can turn on noise canceling, turn off noise canceling, or turn on the transparency. The transparency is, again, like the ones that Sony has, just the amount of noise canceling that you will be hearing with the earbuds on. So with this, maybe it's a little bit of a draw, but I will put in slight advantage to Sony again. Come to point number five. And here is where a lot of the personal preference will come in. 
When I first got the original AirPods, I hated the stem. I thought that it looked like regular earbuds with the cords cut off. But having experienced a lot of the Sony wireless earbuds, I realized that the stem is very important. When I'm putting in the Sony wireless earbuds, it relies on the suction of the ear tips in your ear for stability. And as you can see, just side by side comparison, all right? The Sony just has more of a footprint, just a lot wider, takes a lot more real estate in your head or hanging into your ear. When we compare it to the AirPods Pro, that snug feel, this ergonomic design, and the stem actually hooks to my ear, makes it a lot more comfortable. It feels much more secure. I've ran a little bit with the Sony's and it fell out and I've you know ran and been active a little bit with the AirPods and just it's just a lot more secure in my ear. Not only that, just comparing the case size as well, Sony's is about twice the size of the AirPods Pro, right? And you'd think that will have like a giant advantage with battery charging or battery life, but looking at the specs on the website and listening to and watching a lot of other reviews, they seem to have the same amount of length, you know, anywhere between 16 to 24 hours with multiple charges. And for those part, you wouldn't really be wearing this for more than three to four hours at a time. So hopefully you can get a couple of charges in, in between. So with the design, the ergonomics of it, granted that you have a very good fit with the ear tips, ergonomics, I have to go with the Apple AirPods. They just do a really good job with all of their design. I'd be able to put the AirPods case in my pocket with no problem, while the Sony's, they tend to, you know, stay within either my coat or in my bag because it's just quite big. Winner for ergonomics is the Apple AirPods. So lastly, before I make my decision, point number six, connectivity. So this is something that I've been experiencing a lot with the Sony's the past couple of months. Because Sony is not a native Apple product, obviously, and there has been anecdotes in which Apple tends to slow down third-party apps and peripherals to encourage sales of their first party products, I really, really see the difference in how long it connects. There are a lot of times when I'm using my Sony's where it takes quite a while for both earbuds to connect to my phone. And sometimes I'll need to put them back in the case and then wear them again in order for both earbuds to connect. Sometimes just one will connect and it'll take a while for the other one or sometimes the other one won't even connect at all. So I have to do that little reset. While with the Apple ones, past week, it's been pretty perfect. Take them out of the case, put them in my ear, instantaneous connection. So let's give it a try here. I have my phone right there. I'm gonna start with the Sony's, make sure it's closed and correct. I'm gonna dictate when it actually connects. It says the battery charged, Bluetooth connected, Bluetooth connect. So that took maybe five, six seconds, and it was not simultaneous. That might be negligible, but sometimes, especially when you have the case in your bag and you need to reset the connection of both, it might take a while for you to get your case again, put it back, and then redo the whole thing. So let's try the Apple ones. So, Apple. ba -dum synchronized both connected to my phone you have that confirmation beep just the connectivity it's obviously the, the apples are are way way faster and a lot more stable you always know that this will be connected to your phone as long as you put it in your ear clear cut winner connectivity apple airpods pro here we go do i keep the airpods pro or switch back to the sony's Actually, despite the better sound quality, more robust app of the Sony's, I will have to go back to the AirPods. I really feel that the security is much more comfortable in wearing for a prolonged period of time. 
also having the case more easily stowed in your person makes it a lot more convenient instead of trying to find a pocket big enough for a case twice the size of the Apple AirPods Pro. And also the connection. Apple AirPods instantaneously and simultaneously connects both earbuds to your phone so that you can use it right away. Well, sometimes there's some instability with regards to the connection of the Sony WF-1000XM3. Final verdict, I will be keeping the Apple AirPods Pro and will not be switching back to the Sony WF-1000XM3. Main reasons will be the ergonomics, the security when it is in my ears, so I can be a little bit more active, I can move a little bit quicker, and the connectivity. I feel that's very important to me. The quickness and the stability of the connection compared to sometimes one of the Sony earbuds not connecting to your phone as quick and having to reset it. But there is still no doubt that the Sonys have quite an amazing piece of tech here. Sound quality is great. I wish we can have them both. Sound quality of Sony and the ergonomics of Apple, that would be a perfect machine, but we can't have it all. So we have to choose wisely on the tech that we'll be investing in. This is my choice. I have tested both myself and I am not a pro. This is just where my tastes and needs are pointed to right now. I want to know how you guys will be deciding your purchase. Let me know if you're still deciding between the Apple AirPods Pro or the Sony WF-1000X M3 or whatever other brand there. Let me know if you're experiencing the same things that I experienced and maybe we can trade notes. Thank you very much for watching. I really enjoy sharing the research and the informal test that I have on the things that I purchase. I'll be doing more reviews of some of my photo gear and a bunch of the other cool tech and gadgets that I've picked up the past couple of weeks. Hopefully you guys can come back again and join the conversation. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.